welcome back to JB Reviews. I'm inside of a 2018 Ram 3500 Dually. Special shout out to one of my friends, Joey. You wanna be on camera? I'm, I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna turn it. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so he is camera shy. So he will spend the least amount of time on camera as possible, as he told me. So yes. we're gonna change that today though. <laughs> He's gonna be on camera a little bit, right? Just a little bit. So in this video today, we're going to get his truck weighed. Actually, we're going to use my truck to get it weighed because his truck doesn't even know this trailer's back there. But he does have a side-by-side -side in the garage. So something I've always wanted to know is, does the toy take weight off of the hitch? So at the cat scale, we're going to get the trailer weighed with the side-by-side. -side. Then we're going to take the side-by-side -side out. We're going to get it weighed that way too. And then in the next video, he does have a weight distribution hitch. What kind of weight distribution hitch do you have? Uh, husky. Husky. So he has a husky weight distribution hitch. We're going to get it weighed with that. It's uh, 14,000 pounds. Okay, 14K. And that's about what your trailer is too, about 13,000 in that ballpark? Uh, when it's fully loaded, about 12,000. Okay, there you go. And yeah, so we're going to get the truck weighed with the weight distribution hitch because that's something else I've always wanted to know. Does the weight distribution hitch put the weight on the front axle and on the trailer axle? We're going to see all that today. Actually, no, we're not going to see that in this video, but in this video, you're going to see the weight, how it transfers with the side by side for sure. So stay tuned. This should be a good video for you guys. All right, so I want you guys to know something. This Ram has no ideas towing a trailer, like at all. Like it is literally like, it's not even back there. So what kind of side-by-side -side do you have in the uh, garage right now? I have a 2019 Polaris XP Turbo two-seater. Okay. And how much do you think that weighs, roughly? Uh, it's got some boxes and stuff in it. It's probably, I'm guessing, 18, 1900 maybe. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so even with a side-by-side -side as a two-seater, it's that's still pretty darn heavy. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And then, um, how long have you had the Ram 3500? Well, I bought it used, okay. but it was nearly new. I bought it, I believe, in 2019. Okay, so 2019 is a 2018 model. So you do know that this is the most reliable one because you have the CP3 fuel pump. And I think this was like the last good Cummins because the exhaust rate, you can hear it all throughout the cockpit here, which is really cool. Yes. And I, and I did hear, you do have it on right now too. Yeah, I, saw. Yeah, I have it on, it's actually on high. So. Yeah. It's so loud. Yeah, and like I said, guys, we're gonna get this thing weighed. And right now, the transmission is at 163 degrees. Man, this is this is a nice setup. Now he did add some leather seats inside of here too. And you got the ones up front heated, right? Yes. Nice. So this is a tradesman model. Has nice wheels on it. It's really done up well. All it needs now is a delete. I am just kidding. We know we can't do that, right? Because we don't know who's watching these videos. All right, guys, so I have Joey's friend here too, Tony. Tony. Hello. And he is, what kind of truck do you have, actually? A GMC. You have a GMC? So he's thinking about buying my truck, so I'm, be, I'm getting this on camera for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to trade that. Really? Yeah. So do you have Someday. A, and you have a Duramax now, right? Yeah, 2008. Pre-def. Pre-def, okay. See, that's how you have to get them, guys. See, he's smart. That's what I should have done. Yeah, it's a uh, three-quarter ton, so I don't have the one ton. Now you have a trailer kind of like this one too, yeah. right? Yeah, same, same size, length, just a different brand. Nice. Yeah. Bumper pull. Wouldn't want to go any longer with a bumper pull. Yeah. A lot of people say you want to go to a fifth wheel any longer than that. Yeah. That's actually really smart because the tongue weight doesn't get. Well, really not, really not even the tongue weight. It's just it's just too long of a trailer in the tongue, mm -hmm. really. But with this truck, it tows really well. Yeah. I mean the bumper pull and. Yeah, I mean, this truck has no idea it's towing a trailer. I've said that already in the video a couple times, but I forgot it was back there. Yeah, yeah. I put airbags on mine, uh -huh. so that helps significantly. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Do you have a weakness too? I'm sorry? Do you have a weakness between Yeah. Yeah. Not the high tech like his, but I have the stabilizer bars. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. And it, it tows really well, fully loaded. I mean, I think I was just under 20,000 everything. Okay. The truck loaded trailer. So Joey invited me in. So I've never been inside of a rig with a actual toy in it. So this is what it looks like, guys. I am super happy to see this. So he already has the tie downs right there on the front. 
really nice. You have the coin style floor. And this is a 2017, is that correct? Yes, 2017. 2017? Yep. Nice, nice. And this is 33 foot, you said? Yeah, the, the box is 33 and a half. 33 and a half, okay. Nice. So you can still get to the kitchen if you need to cook some food, um, wash some dishes, bathrooms right here, and then your bedroom, excuse me. You better, let me check it before you. Oh. <laughs> I haven't been in there. <laughs> he said you need to check the bedroom. Oh, yeah. No, you're good. It's not big. No, hey, hey, this is RV. We all know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Are we good? Yeah, I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit. It's clean in here. What are you talking about? Uh, Looks good. We bought one. Have you ever seen these beddies? Oh, the beddies? Yes. Where you put the bottom on and the top zips on. Nice. Oh, yeah. That thing is awesome. Yeah, we had one on our other bed, but we ruined it, unfortunately. But yeah, these are nice, super nice. Yeah, these are the beddies, guys. So if you do have RV, it basically like pulls onto the mattress. So you, you just zip it up, basically. Like a big sleeping bag. Yeah. And is that the entrance to the bathroom? Another nice. The bathroom here. So he has two inches. He already has the go power for the solar. And this is the bathroom, two guys, right here. Love that it has two entrances. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and unhook. Oh man, did you put new lights in? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Super uh, nice. I there. was having trouble with some of them, so I just replaced all of them. All right now. Okay. So, so you just put so the pin just hangs like that. Yes. Yeah, let's see here. So you, all you did was no, no. Uh, this this groove here goes on the little tab that's sticking out like this. Ah. That. Oh, I see. They just kind of... That okay. One. That's pretty cool. And then it has the cables. Because okay. if there's any pressure on it, it'll come out and break your shim. Oh, really? Yeah. That's good. Done. Is that all done now? Yep. Cool. All right, so I'm learning something new every day. So Tony has a tape measure on his phone. I'm gonna get this app, by the way. <laughs> so he said it only dropped about an inch or so? Yeah. And that's because the toy's in the garage, more likely. That's why it's probably not as much, but once we get that toy out of there, it might sink down a little bit more. So we'll get another measurement for you guys. So here is the first way in. We basically with all three guys in, that's Tony, myself, and Joey. And then I have a generator and maybe a 50 pound cooler back there. We're all in at 9,380 pounds. My truck weighs on the curb 8,318 pounds. So we added 1,000 pounds with us in there plus gear. Now you consider getting the trailer weighed you guys see that? So, 4860 plus 5680 is 10,540 pounds, right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna subtract 9,380 pounds, and that's the tongue weight. So now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the razor out of the trailer, and then we're gonna get it weighed one more time so you guys can see if this hitch weight goes up without having the toy back there.
So now that we have the toy out, it's definitely dropped a little bit more. You can see that squatting a little bit more. Wow, that's pretty insane. All right, let's go ahead and get it weighed one last time. We just got the truck weighed, truck and trailer weighed. Then the razor was removed and then we got it weighed again. So let's go through this really quickly. So this is the first weigh-in with just a truck with us in there. This next slip is without the razor. Okay, so we're gonna leave that one on the side. And then this is the slip with the razor. So we just figured out the razor weighs 1,900 pounds. Now online it shows like 1,400 pounds and some change, but there's like a lot of tools you said, Joey. Yeah, a lot and of aftermarket. Upgraded the wheels, stuff, yeah. suspension. So it's pretty loaded up there. Now, as I mentioned, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So if anyone in the area has a fifth wheel toy hauler, I would love to do this with that same scenario that you see here. Assuming that you have a large, maybe side by side, that'd be great. But in the first column, we got weighed, Joey, Tony, and myself, all together every time. So I want you guys to keep that in mind here. Now here are the weights for the trailer. Now this is without the Polaris and then this is with it. And here are the hitch weights. So when you took out the Polaris, your hitch weight increased by 440 pounds. Now, whenever I do my Weight Watchers truck additions, I'm gonna be using this as my scenario now because you see this right here? That trailer did not have that much equipment in the front. The tanks were completely empty. And the hitch weight for a travel trailer toy hauler was 21%. That is absolutely crazy. I could not believe that. Now I'm getting these hitch weights off of these numbers here. So I took the 1600 and divided it here and took the 1160 and divided it here. So if you want, you could obviously take this number and add it here and then do the number again. But I think this is how you're supposed to do the hitch weight percentage. So did you see that guys? That is a big discrepancy. So when you're looking at these toy hauler travel trailers, I can almost guarantee you're probably gonna need a three quarter ton or better. I would even consider just going one ton, especially if you're not towing this trailer all the time with a toy in the back of it. Now, one thing to consider is this. In the next video, I'm going to have the weight distribution hitch. I personally believe that this is too light of a hitch weight for this type of trailer. I think you want at least 13% of this weight on the truck. Now, I'm only saying that for single rear wheels. When we had the weight distribution hitch on the dually, I really could not feel the trailer back there. Now we did tow the trailer without the weight distribution hitch. And so we are gonna see just how well it does without it with my truck. But I would recommend, this is something that Joey said, backing in the side by side, because a lot of the weight on those things are on the back. And if you were to back it into the trailer, you would transfer some of that weight further up and you might get maybe 2% more hitch weight, which you're gonna probably need in this scenario. So just keep that in mind if you are looking to buy some of these toys and toy haulers this year. So here's some footage of Joey putting the Polaris back into the garage. And you can see the overload leaf springs are going further and further away from the bump stop because of the weight on the back. So as I said, you may wanna back it in because you still wanna have weight on the truck because it does make it tow better going down the road. But Joey, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this. I've been wanting to do this for like three years. No, you're very welcome. And uh, we could do it. Absolutely. And you got a nice razor too. Can I borrow it for a little bit? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony, hey, Tony was a cameraman today too, so you gotta give him some props as well. He uh, got some footage for us, but yeah, in the next video we're gonna do, we're going to put the weight distribution hitch on. Yes. And you guys already know what it is without the weight distribution hitch, so we're gonna see where that weight goes on the tire. So that should be a good video, so be sure to check that out. And also, hopefully we have time <laughs> today, or we if we need to reschedule. I would like for Joey to drive my GMC with my fifth wheel. And we're gonna check out his Ram truck as well. So be sure to check out the next videos. See you guys soon. Peace. <laughs>